I'm Andy Fisher, WNEW News at 8 minutes past 10. Time for the Sears Radio Theater. That's the theme from the Sears Radio Theater. Tonight's story is a comedy with Andy Griffith as your host. Here's a preview. How'd you like the show, Mr. DeVille? I was captivated and enthralled. But did you like it? Of course. You are, as we say, um, a hot commodity. <laughs> you sure know how to make a comic feel wanted, you sir. You are wanted, Benny. After all these years, that's music to my ears. The Sears Radio Theater will begin after this message from your local station. Hello, I'm Stan Martin. It's sad that many youngsters feel the only way they can make their mark on our town is with a destructive act or a smear of graffiti. One building on New York's Lower East Side stands apart from the others. Its walls are spotless inside and out. The youngsters who work and play there have earned the respect of the entire city, just as they've learned to respect themselves. I'm talking about the Boys Brotherhood Republic. The BBR has been helping underprivileged boys work their way out of the slums for almost 50 years. By giving them the responsibility of governing and policing themselves, the BBR helps create a set of values which guide its members all their lives. I know because I was a member from the time I was six, and the BBR helped change my life. It's doing the same right now for hundreds of youngsters with no other place to turn but the streets. Help the BBR turn out solid citizens. Please send whatever financial support you can to the Boys Brotherhood Republic, 888 East 6th Street, New York, 10009. Thank you. I'm Henry Winkler, and I'm an actor, and I'm proud of it. I've played many roles from Shakespeare to the Fonz, and right now I'm playing what I consider a significant spokesman role for the American Cancer Society. We're inviting you to join our cast of millions, the millions of Americans who are playing a role in the fight against cancer, scientists in research laboratories, the people helping cancer patients with rehabilitation and other services, many of them former cancer patients themselves. All those volunteers playing an important role, ringing doorbells to help raise the funds needed to bring about a happy ending to our centuries-old drama, the war against cancer. That's your role. Act. Send a generous check now to your American Cancer Society. It's not a small part. As Shakespeare said, many strokes, though with a little axe, felled the hardest timbered oak. Remember, it's your American Cancer Society. This is Andy Griffith. What sort of creature has a spiked tail, horn sticking out of its forehead, a goatee, an evil grin, and carries a pitchfork? No, it's not an enraged farmer or your crazy Aunt Margot. It's the devil, or the picture that most people have of the devil. Now, I'd be the last person to try and convince you that this picture is incorrect. In fact... Hold on a minute. That fancy black sports car is in an awful hurry. Let's follow it. We're in the Catskill Mountains now, and night's falling. The road turns, twists like a pretzel. The driver displays an unearthly control of the speeding machine. Look up ahead, a resort of some kind. The car slows down and pulls into the resort. The driver gets out, and so does a stunning blonde in a slinky black evening gown. The driver pauses, looks around, strokes his goatee with a gloved hand. His dark patent leather shoes glisten, and his black jumpsuit hugs the contours of his body. The blonde giggles. <laughs> And the driver flashes an evil-looking grin. He slips his arm around the blonde's waist, and together they walk towards the resort. Hmm, look. The car has a personalized license plate. Let's see. It, it reads D-E-V-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Deville? It couldn't be, could it? And that's only the beginning of our story. Radio Theater, a new adventure in radio listening. Five nights of exceptional entertainment every week. Brought to you in Elliot Lewis production of the Sears Radio Theater. Our story, Last Resort, by Mark Trella. Our star, Marvin Kaplan. 
The Sears Radio Theater is brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company. Sears, where America shops for value. Is that eggnog you're drinking? Mm Mm-hmm. In June? Sure. And after this, I'm going to Sears to wrap myself in a fall coat. What? At the preseason coat layaway at Sears, I'll save 25% on any coat I choose. Preseason or last year's leftovers? Mm Mm-mm. All our fall 1979 styles. And a deposit holds my coat until October 1st, 1979. Save 25% during Sears preseason coat layaway sale, now at most Sears retail stores. Sale ends June 23rd. Dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Watch the birdie. Oh, that's great. Uh, your baby's wearing Sears sleep and play suit, right? Mm-hmm. And that baby stroller with the shovel handles from Sears, too? Right. Uh, why Sears? Because Sears has what I need. Take Winnie the Pooh sleep and play suits. They have double fabric toes, a must for my infant dynamo, and the stroller. That shovel handle lets me move the stroller easily with just one hand. But why the questions about Sears? Well, my wife's expecting. Oh, we get the picture. Dad's always been willing to give you the shirt off his back. So this Father's Day, show Dad how much you appreciate him with a luxurious-looking dress shirt from Sears. Ultressa dress shirts, now 25% off. They're handsome, short-sleeve, permapress shirts of Easy Care Dacron polyester. Yet Ultressa dress shirts have the look and feel of silk. Choose from solids, patterns, and textured solids, all at 25% off. Now $7.49 to $10.50. Sale ends June 16th. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. All items available at most larger Sears retail stores. Benny Milton is a stand-up comic. He refuses to sit down, but that's not Benny's only problem. His career has never really gotten off the ground, and he's not getting any younger. Just ask his mother, who is talking to Benny in his dressing room at a swank Catskill Mountain resort. If your poor father, rest his soul, could see you now, Benny. (sighs) His only son, an entertainer. Ma, this is my life. This is all I know. So why can't you come home and take over the family business? Ma, we don't have a family business. So we could start one. Benny, please come home. You're breaking your poor mother's heart. I finally get a chance to show my stuff at a classy nightclub, and you want me to forget my career and come home. The neighbors ask about you, Benny. I've worked years to get where I am today. And I'm embarrassed to tell them that my son is a comic. I'm not getting any younger, you know. So you want me on my knees? Is that it, Mr. Big Shot Entertainer? All right, I'm on my knees. Ma, please get up. I got a show to do. Here, uh, here's some money. Why don't you get yourself a nice table and enjoy the show? Ten dollars? How can I enjoy myself on ten dollars? All right, here's another ten. No wolf color jokes, Benny. You know how sensitive I am. You sure, Ma. Enjoy the show, Ma. I always do, son. And people ask me why I became a comic. Mr. Denton wants to see you in his office, Benny. Mr. Denton? I'll be right there. <laughs> Sit down, Milton. Yes, sir. Milton, how many nights have you worked for me? Four, sir. Do you know that the past four nights have been the worst in the history of this resort? I can't imagine why, sir. Sunspots, Milton. Those disturbances on the surface of the sun. Do you really think so? No. Now, you may find this far-fetched, Milton, but I honestly believe it has something to do with the way you've been entertaining the evening crowd. I don't like the way you said entertaining, Mr. Denton. And I don't like the way you've been doing it. From the looks of the receipts, neither do the customers. Look, Benny, you're a real nice kid, but Henny Youngman, you ain't. I thought I did a pretty good job. Well, the first night you got about six laughs, and it's been downhill ever since. And that's not counting the old woman with the shopping bags, the one who laughs at everything you say. You leave my mother out of this. Your mother? Oh, now I get it. You plant your mother in my nightclub just so she'll laugh and make you look good. That's not true. She just follows me around. I can't stop her. Oh, I never thought you'd try to pull a fast one on me, Milton. Uh, Well, you won't do it again. After you finish tonight's show, you are through working for me. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we proudly present that walking laugh machine, Mr. Benny Milton. Oh, 
<laughs> Thank you and good evening, folks. Gee, it's great to be in the Catskill Mountains. This part of the country is gorgeous, and, and it's so different from the city. I woke up this morning and saw a bird sneaking off in my wallet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Isn't nature imaginative? I took a stroll in the woods yesterday, and I saw a beaver dam with a toll gate. <laughs> that didn't surprise me, because the day before, I picked a flower, and on the stem it said, no deposit, no return. <laughs> Is this thing working? Uh, I know you folks are out there, because I can hear you drinking. <laughs> All right, I'd, uh, I'd like to introduce my mother, Mrs. Milton, who's been enjoying the show along with the rest of you. Let's hear it for my mother. Yeah, yeah, you've been a wonderful audience, and if I never see you again, it'll be just fine with me. Good night, everybody. You win, Ma. I'll come home. Now you're talking sense, Benny. Here, let me pack your suitcase for you. All the years I spent on the road playing night spots, doing christenings and bar mitzvahs. For what? Should I pack your monogram rubber duck? I worked hard, Ma. I really did. Of course you did, Benny. Oh, and your mittens? Just can't understand it. Of course you can't. Sneakers? How about sneakers? I got a special talent. I know I can make people laugh. You make me laugh. Mothers and agents don't count. Oh, yeah? Just wait till you get home, Mr. Big Shot Entertainer. I'll show you who doesn't count. No, no, I, I can't quit now. I'm so close. <sighs> there. Okay, we're ready to go, Benny. Ma, do you know how important it is for me to be a successful comic? What's important? We'll get you a good job. Forget being a comic already. I'd give anything to be a successful comic. I'd even give my soul. Did someone say so? Who are you? <laughs> One of those fancy schmancy Hollywood types, if you ask me. Ma. Allow me to introduce myself... My name is DeVille, and this is Salome. <laughs> Hi there, folks. Hello there. Uh, I'm Benny Milton. Yes, we are. Uh, my son and I were just leaving. Come on, Benny. Uh, wait a minute, Ma. Uh, my card, Mr. Milton. Mm -hmm. Prince of Darkness Productions, Hollywood. You see, Benny, your mother was right. Ma, give the man a chance. Mr. Milton, my agency is constantly on the lookout for new uh, talent. Huh? <laughs> So what has that got to do with my Benny? Ma, please. I think your boy may have some talent, Mrs. Milton. You think my boy has talent? I arrived too late to see your show, Benny, but uh, if you would agree to a brief audition. Here? In the dressing room? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Mr. Denton has agreed to let us use the nightclub for a private show. Of course, you will be reimbursed for your time. Uh, uh, that's really no problem, Miss. And uh, just how much money are we talking about, Mr. Hollywood agent? Five hundred dollars cash. Five hundred dollars. He'll do it. Sears National Automotive Sale. The maintenance-free Sears 36 battery is now on sale. Great starting power. Now only $34.99 with trade-in. You save $5. And save on Sears Dynaglass belted 28 tires. They're on sale now at 40% off spring 1979 general catalog prices. Plus federal excise tax. Dynaglass belted 28 tires. Save 40%. Super values at most Sears tire and auto centers. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Stop! The room held several Sears brass-plated lamps, one switched on. The finely plated antique satin shade illuminated the furniture softly. Another lamp turned on, and another. The patio doors blew open. The gloom brass-plated lamp nearby, with its heavy base built for stability, did not budge. The room glowed in the brassy elegance that these Sears best lamps command. Create your own hauntingly elegant moods with Sears brass-plated lamps at most larger Sears retail stores. Come with me on a magic carpet ride to view Sears' Kismet Classic collection of rugs with the beauty and luxury of genuine oriental creations. Behold, 13 exquisite patterns inspired by great masterpieces of Persia and the Orient. Look upon all nine sizes of Kismet Classic rugs, each of a 100% virgin worsted wool pile. Deep, dense, luxurious. Riding a rug is okay, but decorating with Kismet Classics is heaven on earth. At most larger Sears retail stores, so, Benny Milton can earn $500 for just a few minutes' work. At this rate, he and his mother can retire in 24 hours. Since Mr. Deville 
and Salome are Californians, Benny has decided to make them feel at home by doing his famous Los Angeles monologue. Ladies and gentlemen, we proudly present that walking laugh machine, Mr. Benny Milton. Thank you very much, and good evening, folks. <laughs> Gee, it's great to be in sunny Los Angeles. This is the only city in the world with hot and cold running traffic. <laughs> now, I won't say that smog is a problem out here, but Los Angeles is the only place I know where you can see the air. <laughs> but everyone out here is used to it. I know folks who refuse to go out on clear days. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. They're trying to clean up the atmosphere out here. This summer, they're introducing a car that runs on smog. <laughs> Los Angeles is such a strange place. They do things differently out here. Kids learn to drive before they can walk. They put in the swimming pool before they build the house. And you can become a star even if you don't have any talent. <laughs> they even put their trash on TV. <laughs> there are so many weird religious groups and cults out here now. People worship the devil or the sun. I met a guy who worships hamburgers. I'm serious. He has his own church with french fries and everything. <laughs> he even performs marriages. After he pronounces the couple man and wife, he has the groom slip an onion ring on the bride's finger. Ah, <laughs> uh, you've been a wonderful audience. Good night, everybody. Benny, please join us at the table. Oh, that was a marvelous routine, Benny. You captured the essence of the Los Angeles lifestyle. <laughs> you were a scream, Benny. Thanks, Salome. Before we get down to business, Salome has to powder her nose. Powder my nose? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Mrs. Milton. I don't have to powder my nose. Then you can watch me powder mine. All right. Don't sign anything till I get back. Your mother is an unusual woman. You're telling me. What does she keep in those shopping bags? You know, I never asked her. <laughs> Benny, uh, tell me about yourself, your career, your ambitions. What little there is to tell could fit on a match cover. I played a lot of small towns, what we comics call the borscht belt. I was hoping this engagement would be my big break. I see. And things didn't work out so well? Nah. It was a disaster. Nobody laughed at my jokes except my mother. Is your mother always in the audience? <laughs> Just the bad. Huh? She's my biggest fan, only she won't admit it. Even she couldn't help the crowds at this place. And there's nothing worse than playing to a crowd that doesn't respond. Now, that's my idea of hell. <laughs> that's interesting. Mr. DeVille, you can level with me. Do you think I'm funny? You're a walking lap machine, Benny. You really think so? You have got talent to burn. I just can't understand why no one has discovered you sooner. I'm not exactly a household word. Well, we can remedy that. How? By signing you to an exclusive contract with... Prince of Darkness Productions. Um, I just happen to have a copy of our standard agreement with me. Uh, gee, I don't know, Mr. DeVille. I, I just met you. Benny, you sign with me, and incredible worlds of opulence and luxury will be yours. Beautiful clothes, exotic women, fancy sports cars, and bright lights, Benny, bright lights that will spell out your name. Benny Milton. Exactly. Now, here's a pen. You really think I can be a famous comedian, Mr. DeVille? I guarantee it. In six months' time, you will be a household word. Now, sign on the dotted line. Here goes nothing. And press hard. You're making six copies. Sure. Benny Milton. <laughs> there. <laughs> well, you won't regret this, Benny. Oh, welcome back, ladies. You're just in time to celebrate. And uh, what are we celebrating? Your son has just signed with Prince of Darkness Productions for exclusive representation in the here and the hereafter. Benny, is this true? Relax, Ma. I know what I'm doing. Mr. DeVille will put my name in lights. I'll give you lights, Mr. Big Shot Entertainer. Ma, please. Mrs. Milton, you should be proud of your son. And why is that, Mr. Hollywood agent? Because he drove a very hard bargain. I did. He did? Of course he did. And here is the $1,000 bonus for signing, and here is the $500 fee for your exquisite performance. Oh. Benny, my son, I'm so proud of you. Congratulations, Benny. <laughs> Welcome to the family, Benny. Gee, I'm, I'm all choked up. Benny, you signed an agreement with these people and they're crazy. Ma, they're not crazy. Are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're no crazier than you or your mother. See, Ma? There's nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Did you read the contract, Benny? Suppose you signed your life away, Mr. Big Shot. Ma, I didn't sign my life away. 
Did I, Mr. Deville? <laughs> of course not, Benny. See, Ma? Well, I can't believe that you're getting off that easy. What did my son sign away, Mr. Hollywood agent? <laughs> well, if you must know, Mrs. Milton, your boy signed away his soul. <laughs> Oy vey. <laughs> Sears Radio Theater will continue after this message from your local station. You've changed, Bernard. You're not the man I married. What do you mean, Francine? Remember the way you were? Vulnerable? You made mistakes. But now, look, you're confident. Everything you do turns out right. It's that book you sent away for. It's just a catalog mm. from the Consumer Information Center. It lists more than 200 federal publications you can send for on building, fixing, eating... Buying, selling, working, playing, living... And more than half of them are free. Yes, Francine, the man you married is gone for good. Mm. All right, Bernard. But would you make just one more mistake for old time's sake? All right. For you, oh. I'll just replace that window glass like I used to. Whatever you do, learn to do it better. Send for your free catalog. Just write Consumer Catalog, Pueblo, Colorado, 81009. Francine, send for that publication on first aid. What was that address? Pueblo, Colorado, 81009. Dear Abby, a listener writes, Now that my husband's gone, I've tried to open my own charge accounts and have been turned down. It seems all our credit was listed in his name. Now I'm told I have no credit record in my own name. Signed, Stuck. Dear Stuck, this is a real problem for many women. Four out of five of you will one day be on your own. But if you know your rights, you can help protect yourself against future credit rejection. So take some advice from Dear Abby. Call or write stores where you and your husband share charge accounts. Have them listed in both names, yours as well as his. Say you want joint charge accounts listed as Mrs. Mary Jones as well as Mr. John Jones, so you will have a history of credit, too. The law gives you that right. For more information, write for the free booklet, Women and Credit Histories, Federal Trade Commission, Washington, D.C., 20580. That's Women and Credit Histories, FTC, Washington, D.C., 20580. <laughs> During Benny Milton's long and not-so-illustrious career as a stand-up comic, numerous agents have requested many things from him. But never has an agent asked for Benny's soul until now. Benny, he wants your soul. Ma, he's pulling your leg. Mr. DeVille, it takes my mother a while to catch on. <laughs> I, I understand, Benny. I wasn't born yesterday, Mr. Hollywood agent. I knew you were joking. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You signed away your soul, Benny. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's a hot one. We do things differently back east, Mr. DeVille. An agent doesn't get your soul for at least five years. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mr. Hollywood agent, just what are your plans for my boy? Uh, well, we will need to expose Benny gradually. And my boy is not exposing himself? Ma, he means club dates, television, talk shows, stuff like that. Yes, Mrs. Uh, Milton. I already have a blueprint for Benny's takeover of America, and in six months, your boy will be a household word. My son, the household word. I'll leave tonight for New York to arrange Benny's first major appearance, and Salome will drive both of you to New York in the morning. Can you believe it, Ma? We're on our way to New York. At this speed, we should be landing there any minute. Gee, this is fun. <laughs> Mr. DeVille says I'm the only person who can turn a highway into a slalom course. If that's a joke, I'm not laughing. This is a terrific car, Salome. Mr. DeVille gave it to me. He said it was a pimento. You mean memento, don't you? Nope. This is one of those Italian sports cars. <laughs> <laughs> An Italian sports car. Did you get it, Ma? I got it. I got it. Listen, Salami, what sort of person is this Mr. DeVille? What is he really? 
like? Oh, he's real sweet, Mrs. Milton. Just like Benny. <laughs> I'll go on. And he, uh, he handles a lot of people? He has so many clients, I don't know how he keeps track of them all. And he works so hard, day and night. Maybe he should take a vacation or something. Oh, not Mr. DeVille. He never rests. Well, he must be a very good judge of talent because it looks like he does real well. Oh, Mr. DeVille is the best at what he does. <laughs> and I think Benny is his pet project. Is that anything like a pet rock? Oh, Benny, you're too much. Let's hope they think so in New York. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Armageddon proudly presents that bright new talent, that walking laugh machine, Mr. Benny Milton. Thank you and, and good evening, folks. <laughs> Gee, it's great to be in New York. I love this city and you'll never hear me joke about it. I mean, what can you say about a place that only costs $24? <laughs> I spent more on cab fare. <laughs> now, don't look at me like that, folks. I refuse to tell a New York cabbie joke. Mm -hmm. Although I did hear that they're developing a robot cabbie that gives you baseball scores and unsolicited opinions. <laughs> <laughs> this particular model also manhandles your luggage and drives past you when it's raining. <laughs> Boy, haven't I? Times changed. The bums on the Bowery won't panhandle you for less than a dollar. <laughs> and I can remember when the Staten Island Ferry was a boat ride. <laughs> Everybody thinks all the weirdos are on the West Coast, right? Mm -hmm. I read in the paper that a guy tried to hijack a subway to Jersey City. <laughs> Must have been the same guy who tried to kidnap the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> and everyone thinks that all the big decisions in this country are made in Washington? Not true. They're made right here on wall-to-wall -wall Street. <laughs> I'm a stockholder and proud of it. But the Dow Jones isn't the indicator I watch to see how the market's doing. Once a week, I go down there and count how many people bring their lunches in brown paper bags. <laughs> Never failed. Hey, you've been a terrific audience. My mother thanks you. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Sit down, Benny. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. DeVille. How'd you like the show, Mr. DeVille? I was captivated and enthralled. But did you like it? Of course. You are, as we say, um, a hot commodity. <laughs> you sure know how to make a comic feel wanted, you sir. You are wanted, Benny. After all these years, that's music to my ears. I'm in heaven. <laughs> well, we simply must do something about your choice of words, Benny. <laughs> uh, speaking of choices, Mr. DeVille, do I have any say about what clubs you booked me into? Oh, I should say so, Benny. Suggest away. Well, I, I have this dream, see? I always wanted a headline on the strip in Las Vegas. It's my favorite town. No, it's mine, too. And I'm sure that can be arranged. I, I happen to know the owners of the Inferno. The Inferno? Boy, oh, if I could headline there... I could die a happy man. And that, too, can be arranged. Uh, so when do I leave for Las Vegas? Uh, uh, shouldn't we build up to it, Benny? I mean, there's no hurry, is there? Oh, no, no sir. I, I got plenty of time. <coughs> yes. Uh, now, um, Salome and your mother will accompany you to the following clubs I've selected. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the underworld proudly presents that rising star, that walking life machine, Mr... Benny Milton! Thank you and good evening, folks. <laughs> Gee, it's great to be in Chicago. It's June and you already got snow. Or is that left over from last winter? <laughs> yes, sir. You got the world's tallest building, the world's busiest airport, and the world's worst snow removal. <laughs> Tell Salami to stop driving like a bat out of hell. Oh. We don't want to be late for the next club date. And I like the way Salome drives. So pipe down, Ma. <laughs> pipe down? This is my Benny talking? Just relax. Don't you worry about me, Mr. Big Shot Entertainer, and your blonde floozy with a lead foot. She's not a floozy, Ma. 
Just calm down. Enjoy the scenery. Enjoy the scenery, he says. What can I see from the trunk except you and Miss Salami making eyes at each other? Ma, I'm a grown man. And I'll make eyes if I want it. All right, have it your own way, Mr. Big Shot. But you're in for a big surprise. Do have a seat, Mrs. Milton. Thank you, Mr. DeVille. Now then, what can I do for you, Mrs. Milton? I came to you as a last resort, Mr. DeVille. My son has fallen in love with your girlfriend, Salome. Salome? Uh, she's hardly my girlfriend. She's not your girlfriend. Uh, she happens to be uh, uh, a client of mine. So aren't you going to break up this torrid romance? Oh, no, it's hardly a torrid romance, Mrs. Milton. Uh, Salome likes to have a little infatuation. Believe me, it's nothing serious. Well, my Benny thinks it's serious. Aren't you going to do something? What would you have me do, Mrs. Milton? Salome is a grown woman, and she can make eyes if she wants to. But she's making eyes at my Benny, and they're just not right for each other. Mm. You seem dead set against this relationship. Dead set is right. I'd give anything to put an end to it. Anything? I'd even give my soul. Your soul? How interesting, Mrs. Milton. Then you'll break up Benny and this floozy? I think we can arrange something, Mrs. Milton. <laughs> She sure was nice as Salome to loan me her car. Nice isn't the word. She's a sweet girl, Benny. You know, Salome and me are thinking about getting married. Married? How nice. We can have the ceremony in Las Vegas. And you and Mr. DeVille can be witnesses. It's a marriage made in heaven, Benny. Uh, she's the kind of girl a guy could lose his head over. And I'm glad you changed your mind about it. We'll be in Las Vegas soon. We can all get together. Yeah. Where'd you get the mink stole, Ma? Oh, uh, yeah, Mr. DeVille gave it to me. Huh? Why did you do that? Uh, a memento, I guess. How should I know? Well, uh, I've been thinking about Mr. DeVille. Oh? And what have you decided? Since I'm a star, I really don't need him anymore, do I? Well, he's been so nice to us. I feel like we owe Mr. DeVille something. We don't owe him a thing. How can you be so sure? Ma, don't you see what he's doing? He's making a fortune off of my talent. But Mr. DeVille doesn't need the money. Are you playing devil's advocate? Watch your language. Is this ingrate my Benny? I can't understand your attitude. Of course you can't. You never had to share a marquee with the amazing Gumbo Brothers. Or follow a trained seal act. Or sleep in the same room with a ventriloquist whose dummy snored. Well, I'm tired of sharing the limelight and the profits. But, Benny, listen. No. I make everyone laugh, so I deserve everything. So what are you going to do, Mr. Big Shot Entertainer? What any self-respecting stand-up comic would do. I'm going on a sit-down strike. Oh. I won't perform until Mr. DeVille lets me out of the contract. But you're supposed to play the Inferno tomorrow night. Mm -mm. I made up my mind. I waited this long to play the Inferno... A few more days won't kill me. Yeah, Mr. DeVille won't like this one bit. Oh, to hell with Mr. DeVille. Ooh, Benny, what you said. Sears National Automotive Sale. Dirt inside your shock absorbers can cause them to fail. Get Sears Heavy Duty Plus Shocks with a self-cleaning wiper ring. On sale now, only $7.99 each. You save 20%. Installation available. And save now on Sears SuperGuard Steel Belted Radial Tires. Steel Belted Strength, Smooth Ride, Radial Performance. Super Values, too. Save $40 to $76 on a set of four. Sale ends June 30th at most Sears Tire and Auto Centers. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Stop. The perfect match to strike this Father's Day. Your dad and Sears Classic Collection separates. All super values. Save $10 on the sport coats, $4 on the slacks or reversible vest. In solid tones that mix and match to give dad many great looks. Like a three-piece suit. Start with solid slacks, now $15.99. Add a solid sport coat, now $39.99. And reversible vest, $14.99. Each Classic Collection separate chosen to fit dad's build. Sale ends June 16th. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. 
Kraft Sears wants to break the ice when it comes to buying a Kenmore refrigerator. So we're taking $50 to $100 off three models through June 30th. You save $100 on the 19 cubic foot side-by-side and $70 on the 17 cubic foot top freezer refrigerator. Both have automatic ice makers and Sears exclusive humid drawer. Save $50 on a Kenmore 17 cubic foot refrigerator freezer without ice maker. All are frostless. Kenmore. Solid as Sears. Dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Available at most larger Sears retail stores. Andy Griffith again, and here's the concluding act of Last Resort. Well, how do you like the penthouse, Benny? This is the penthouse? We must be ten stories underground. <laughs> Didn't Mr. DeVille tell you that the best rooms at the Inferno are underground? No. Nah. And I got a feeling there are other things Mr. DeVille isn't telling me. Like what? I can't put my fingers on it yet. But that's one more reason I have to get out of my contract. Get out of your contract, Benny? Why? So I can be master of my own destiny. And so you and me can get married. Married? You and me? <laughs> what will your mother say? She's all for it. She is? Yeah. And I'm just as pleased as you are. Well, I've got a feeling there's something she's not telling you. Oh, <laughs> uh, like what? Look. Look what I got, everybody. Welcome to Las Vegas shopping bags. Oh, they're real nice, Ma. Guess who I ran into in the gift shop? Liberace? You're Mr. DeVille. And was he ever in a foul mood? Oh, oh, something bad must have happened. I don't know, but he was fuming. Benny, maybe you'd better not talk to Mr. DeVille right now. There's plenty of time to talk, Benny. Relax and enjoy Las Vegas. Uh, I get the picture. Both of you are working for Mr. DeVille. He sent you down here to scare me. Well, it won't work. When I'm through with him, he'll beg me to let him out of the contract. Salome, fix me a drink. You could ask her in a nice way, Mr. DeVille. Shut up, Benny. You do as I say, Salome. Oh, what a wretched day. Simply wretched. Mr. DeVille, there's something I want to talk to you about. Ah. Oh, thank you, dear Salome. Ma, don't you have to powder your nose? Powder my nose? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Come along, Salome. I don't need to powder my nose. Then you can watch me powder mine. I am surrounded by greedy, eccentric idiots, ingrates, the whole lot. Never that upstart wanting out of his contract. <coughs> uh, has someone tried to get out of a contract? Yes, it happens occasionally. A misguided performer gets the mistaken notion that he is a star and that he alone is responsible for his success. Ha! Ridiculous. <coughs> uh, <coughs> ridiculous. That kind of ingratitude irritates the you-know-what out of me. I, I, I become very angry and I do very nasty things. Nasty things, such as? Well, I'd rather not bore you with the gruesome details. You have been so loyal and faithful. Go ahead, bore me. Uh, I'd really like to know. Well, uh, take this young man, for instance. A, a bright, up-and-coming young comic, n not unlike yourself. And suddenly, he decides that he wants out of his contract, just like that. What happened to him? Well, our uh, young man had, shall we say, an unfortunate accident. He fell 13 stories. Oh, uh, that's terrible. Especially since he was on the seventh floor at the time. Huh? Pity he had all the makings of a great star. Such macabre talk before your big performance, too. Forgive me, Benny. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, Mr. DeVille. Now, then, what was it you wanted to speak to me about? Uh, speak to you? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, you will be at the show tonight, won't oh, you? Oh, of course, Benny. I wouldn't miss it for all the souls in you know where. <laughs> Quit pacing and relax. You're on next. How can I relax? You didn't hear what happened to the other guy that wanted out of his contract. Oh, there's something peculiar about Mr. DeVille. Do you suppose he's connected with the underworld? <laughs> Which one? How can you joke at a time like this? The warm-up act is almost finished, Mr. Milton. Uh, thanks, Pop. Uh, I'll be right there. Let's see now. I, I gotta make Mr. DeVille think it's his idea to let me out of the contract. That's it. Benny Milton, you're a genius. What are you going to do, Benny? The world's worst monologue, that's all. Ladies and gentlemen, the Inferno proudly presents that talented star, that walking laugh machine, Mr. Benny Milton. <laughs> Thank you and good evening, folks. Gee, it's great to be in Las Vegas, the home of legalized gambling. <laughs> you can gamble anywhere in this town. I got in a cab at the airport, and instead of a meter, this cab had a slot machine. 
Hey, don't laugh. I won $23. <laughs> they even have slot machines in the restrooms. Now, that's what I call a pay toy. <laughs> And speaking of restrooms, I was in a casino that had restrooms for everyone. They had one labeled men, another for women, and another for losers. All the casinos try to outdo each other. The one I'm staying at advertises a card game in every room. They also got a great breakfast deal. It's called the Loser's Special. For only 99 cents, you get a cup of coffee and two aspirins. They'll even give you a free tank of gas if you lose over $100. Hey, did you hear the one about the dumb gambler who paid off all his debts and then left town? <laughs> You've been a wonderful audience. Good night. <laughs> Salome, where's Mr. DeVille? He said he had some business to take care of, and he'd drop in later. Where's my mother? I haven't seen her since the powder room, Benny. I don't understand what's going on here. What's to understand? You were a scream. I threw that crowd every stale Las Vegas joke I had. I should be punished for telling jokes that bad. <laughs> Maybe you will be. <laughs> Why were they laughing at those lousy jokes? Something is funny around here, and it isn't me. Well, don't look at me, Benny. <laughs> Are you going somewhere? I've done some soul-searching, Salome, and my mother was right. You and I aren't right for each other. I could have told you that, Benny. <laughs> but what about your contract with Mr. DeVille? Look, he can't hold me to a contract if he can't find me. Uh, I don't understand, Benny. Well, I think I do, and the sooner I'm out of here, the better. You going somewhere, Benny? Um, uh, Mr. DeVille, <laughs> uh, just stepping out for some fresh air. Ah, uh, and how far were you stepping? How about Cleveland? Benny... I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> uh, can't you take a joke, Mr. DeVille? I don't have a sense of humor. <laughs> I had such plans for you. I even had a surprise waiting for you upstairs. A surprise? For me? No, a, a small token, a memento, you might say. It's worth $20,000. $20,000? I might be persuaded. No, no, that's all right, Benny. I don't want you to feel pressured in any way. The pressure? What pressure? Let's see the surprise. All right, then. It's parked upstairs. Here you are, Benny. How do you like it? Mr. DeVille, do you know what this is? Yes, of course I do, Benny. It's a custom-made nine-cylinder British Lucifer with hand-tooled leather interior, AM-FM stereo, steel-belted radial, sunroof, and an overhead cam engine which attains speeds in excess of 130 miles per hour. Sticker price, $19,871.64. This can't be happening. Of course it can. Notice the personalized license plates. B-E-N-N-Y. Benny. You shouldn't have. <laughs> Here are the keys, Benny. <laughs> Would you... Uh... Care to make a trial run? The desert's quite beautiful this time of night, and you can put this little devil through its paces. Oh, I'd love to. This car is so powerful, it's almost frightening. Oh, you seem to be handling it rather well, Benny. It's taking all of my strength to keep this car on the road. It seems to have a mind of its own. <laughs> Doesn't that upset you when something that belongs to you decides that it has a mind of its own? I don't get it, Mr. DeVille. What if this car suddenly decided it didn't need you anymore? <laughs> you don't start going goofy on me. How do you think I felt when I learned that you wanted to end our relationship, Benny? I wasn't trying to pull a fast one. I just wanted some time to think things over. Well, I did your thinking for you. You never had any worries, did you? No. But I do have a couple of questions for you. Yes? Where's my mother? I'm sure she'll be joining you shortly. She better. Don't worry about that, Benny. And another thing. Why was everyone laughing at my jokes tonight? Because you're Benny Milton, the walking laugh machine. Yeah. But I purposely gave them the worst monologue I could, and they still laughed. Benny, you could have read the telephone book and gotten laughs tonight. Are you saying that you made a deal with those people to laugh at anything I said? No, Benny. All of those people made deals with me, just like you did. In exchange for certain concessions, they do as I say. <laughs> you wield a lot of power, Mr. DeVille. I should. But I'm the devil. Hey, don't talk like that. Benny, please remove your foot from the accelerator. That's a good idea. We are going pretty fast. Hey, we're not slowing down. <laughs> 
brakes don't work. Mr. DeVille, do something. I'm afraid not, Benny. It's time for you to repay me for services rendered. Perhaps if you hadn't decided to leave me, you might have enjoyed your fame a while longer. What do you want from me? I'll give you anything. No, I don't want anything. I want your soul. Give me your soul, Benny. Get your hands off me, you nut! Give it to me. I want it now. Hey, we're going out of control! You had all the makings of a great star. I'm dead? Funny, I don't feel different. You will. Please follow me. If I'm dead, you must be dead too, right? No, no, Benny. This is my home. Strange place. I've been in nicer tunnels. Please step in here, Benny. Gee, this place looks familiar. Reminds me of a resort I once played in the Catskills. Talk about disasters. That place was my idea of hell. Say, what are all these people waiting for, Mr. DeVille? They're waiting for you, Benny. For me? Where are we, Mr. DeVille? This is hell, Benny. Your idea of hell. Hell? That's the last time I trust an agent. (laughs) <laughs> Why don't you walk on stage? We don't want to keep the nice people waiting, do we? All right. Let's get the show on the road. Ladies and gentlemen, we present that walking laugh machine, Mr. Benny Milton. Thank you for that warm welcome, folks. Gee, it's great to be in hell. The t-shirt goes to great lengths and becomes a dress that's a super value from Sears. The t-shirt dress for $13.99 in a bright or soft palette of prints, a great get-together of interesting styles in Easy Care Double Knit Polyester, sizes 8 to 18. Only $13.99 each, thanks to a special purchase. And a Sears special purchase, though not reduced, is an exceptional value. The t-shirt dress, another super value from Sears. Quantities limited. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. My dad's power hungry because he's anxious to tackle new projects with power tools for Father's Day. At Sears, find super values in a Craftsman reversible drill, saber saw with manual scroller, and dual action pad sander, each at $20 savings, now just $29.99. And check Sears heavy duty router with case at $43 savings, based on regular separate prices in Sears current power hand tool catalog. So this Father's Day, let Craftsman satisfy your power hungry dad while you save money at Sears. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Nothing but the best for my dad. Like Sears Best Double Knit Slacks on sale for Father's Day. Regular cut slacks are just $13.99. That's $4 off. Choose popular solids and refined patterns in wrinkle-resistant double knit for trail polyester. Top off his day with Sears Best Short Sleeve Knit Sports Shirts. Also at $4 off. Now just $9.99. It's Sears Best for the best guy I know, Dad. Sale ends June 16th. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. All items available at most large Sears retail stores. The Sears Radio Theater has been brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company, where our policy is satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Sears, where America shops for value. Last Resort was written by Mark Trella, produced and directed by Fletcher Markle. Your host was Andy Griffin. Our star was Marvin Kaplan. Featured in the cast were Lillian Bayef, Ben Wright, Noel North, Jerry Hausner, and Jack Carroll. The music for Sears Radio Theater was composed and conducted by Nelson Riddle. This is Art Gilmore speaking. The Elliott Lewis production of Sears Radio Theater is a presentation of CBI.
join hands with people everywhere. Each of us can do our share in Cares for Save for Children. This year, people of all nations are joining hands to improve the lives of the world's needy children. Through care, you can provide the families of these children with the means to grow their own food, to build medical facilities, safer water systems, and schools. Tomorrow's world is in our hands. Help make it a better place for all the children. Please send your check or money order to CARE, Crusade for Children Overseas, Box 576, New York 10016. Like the wind, we feel its effect, but we cannot see it. It touches each and every one of us without exception. Young or old, rich or poor, black or white, it's something we all have in common. Tension. When we are unable to cope with tension, it can turn against us. It can make us fail at our jobs, fail our families, and most important, fail ourselves. Learning to cope with tension is a never-ending process, one that begins at birth and continues to the end of life. It's one of the keys to happiness and good mental health in our time. This is Cliff Robertson. There are few of us who wouldn't welcome solid advice from a good friend on how to deal more effectively with our tensions. That friend can be your mental health association. Contact them for a copy of their pamphlet, How to Deal with Your Tensions. Tomorrow's Sears Radio Theater will be a mystery with Vincent Price as your host. Let's listen. If I wanted to be free, I could divorce Marjorie. And why haven't you? Well, that's just it. Maybe I don't want to. In any case, if I haven't tried even that, why would I jump to murder? Human behavior is a mysterious thing. So be sure and tune in tomorrow to Sears Radio Theater.